Good afternoon, everyone. Hope everyone had a good lunch and some strong coffee for these afternoon sessions. My name is Pedro Pisano, and I currently serve as the Assistant Director for Democracy Programs at the McCain Institute. We seek to further the legacy of U.S. Senator John McCain for a free, safe, and just world. The four unyieldingly courageous people you're about to hear from next, Carolina, Victor, Toribia, and Lester are doing exactly that, creating the mostly free, safe, and just world that most of us enjoy here in Western Europe and North America, and which we take for granted at our own peril. As Hillel said this morning, they are fighting for the values that we claim to protect. If you allow me a minute to talk about the empty chair that we see on the far right of the stage, Hillel will talk about it more. But it's a chair that symbolizes the struggle for a friend of John McCain, who John McCain chose as his pallbearer, and who's now serving the longest prison sentence in Russia than anyone can remember for speaking the truth about Russia in Russia, 25 years. I encourage you to see the speeches. He came and spoke here in 2018 and 2021. His wife came last year. Go see the speeches on the Geneva Summit website. The McCain Institute is really proud to be one of the many partners of the Geneva Summit. We are honored to stand on this stage to contribute to the fight to live in truth. Yes, as one of the great statesmen, Václav Havel, said, yes, I really do inhabit a system in which words are capable of shaking the entire structure of government, where words can prove mightier than 10 military divisions. These four people you're about to hear from next and everyone else you've heard from and will hear from, their words, I tell you, are mightier than 10 military divisions. The entire U.S. Army, just to give you some scale, has exactly 10 active military divisions composed of around 200,000 soldiers. Now, I know I'm standing between you and the power of 10 military divisions, so let me be very brief, give you an overview about democracy in Latin America, and introduce our first speaker. Latin American Latin America and the Caribbean is the world's third most democratic region after Western Europe and North America. However, it has the worst score globally for political culture. Of the 24 countries surveyed in Latin America and the Caribbean, the four countries that we're talking about today, Nicaragua, Venezuela, Cuba, and Bolivia, are in the bottom five. They're the five worst, just in terms of democracy. The only other country that joins them is sadly Haiti, which is a country in a state of collapse. Today, it has zero, zero elected officials. And it's still better off than Nicaragua, Venezuela, and Cuba. We could call them an authoritarian quartet to not use the troika of tyranny language. And these are the places where these four amazing individuals are fighting for freedom and justice. 